Alright, so here's another variation of my water battery enhanced with the copper oxide layer on the copper section, something I noticed while experimenting a while back with uh, hot and cold reactions with the uh, copper oxide in the water and accidentally came up with these um, battery style um, power source and I was able to power on another video an AM transmitter pretty well with this. So I took this a step further and I separated the batteries into two separate batteries really. So what happens here is you've got these primary batteries here which run this oscillator on Q1 here very basic flyback like oscillator circuit using transformer right here and what this does is it sends pulses and uh, I send these pulses to these um, to this diode here which basically switches tran another transistor on this board here which is uh, PNP I just got to reverse the polarity between the um, collector and emitter just to watch that and it connects to the secondary battery now it switches this and rectifies into this very small capacitor here back to DC now what seems to be interesting is whenever there's a pause of a few milliseconds in this kind of a setup it seems to give enough time for this um, somewhat battery setup to replenish itself and give it another pulse without um, draining the battery and this seems to keep working as long as I basically change the water every week or so because it gets a little corroded and what's happening now is it seems like the circuit balances itself out so one side helps the other side and then it runs but as an oscillator so here I have the scope and this is on the secondary circuit so this is the second battery oscillating and this is giving me peaks of about half a volt and it's being rectified back into the primary circuit here and fed back into Q1 which is powered by these primary batteries here so it's pretty neat you know it's I don't have the exact details because this is very crude and you know with uh, learning labs but um, it's an interesting concept with water batteries basically and uh, yeah, basically one balances the other one out, or in the best of terms I can figure out right now. Again, just experimenting, and it's very interesting how this runs. Anyways, I hope you enjoy.